Nevada Herald have been very outspoken about their support for President Trump, and it looks like they still are. Newly elected New Mexico Congresswoman Yvette Harrell talking to her colleagues and the nation in Washington, D.C. this morning. This is not how I imagined my first speech in the House of Representatives or my first week to be in Washington. The violence that occurred in this building yesterday is reprehensible and inexcusable. Harrell, though, is still adamant there were major problems with the presidential election. As a state representative of New Mexico, Pennsylvania's unconstitutional actions disenfranchised my constituents of my colleagues. We also reached out to New Mexico Republican Party Chairman Steve Pierce, who has been very outspoken about his support for President Trump. Everywhere women are coming out and saying we're voting for Trump. It's really a big deal. You sense the excitement here. In September in Albuquerque, he was front and center when this pink Women for Trump bus rolled into town. Today, though, a spokesman for Pierce said he was not available to go on camera. Instead, the New Mexico Republican Party sent out a statement that said in part, the party recognizes the certification of electoral votes by Congress this morning, but there are still too many unanswered questions surrounding the vote count, voting machines, drop boxes, and absentee ballots in our presidential election. In that statement, there was no mention of the violence that took place in the nation's capital. Nancy Lafala, and KOT Action 7 News. We did request an interview with Congresswoman Harrell. Her spokesman said she was not doing interviews today.